out today, so I'm holding the camera. Uh, today there is going to be much work done on the 300 as long as I can get in the shop. So I'm going to replace the drive shaft and finish the one tie rod that I didn't get done when we did the hike is delete and possibly in alignment if I have time. Now it's really hard to drive stick and hold camera at the same time. So yeah, that should be fun. It'll happen right away. Drive shaft I'm doing because it shakes at about this speed. You guys probably won't be able to feel it in the camera because it honestly isn't shaking that bad right now for some reason. Usually it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be done soon. You'll get to see the work done. I'm putting a one piece drive shaft in. So it should be fun. Oh, hold it <laughs> yes. So what am I doing? I it's hard to see. I'm taking out the drive shaft to check the U-joints and this steady bearing here. And we'll find out if that's the cause of all my horrible shaking. And you guys don't need to see the terrible leaking that I've got going on. Plan. I'm just trying to get at the drive shaft. Fun fact, this socket I'm using is actually not an Allen socket, it's a Torx socket that I broke and cut off and it fits perfectly in so many Allen sockets. <laughs> Allen headed bolts in me. It's really difficult to come out. Another little known fact is, well some people might know, yeah this one has the mark. When you take drive shafts apart and you're supposed to mark them because they're balanced to only go on one way. And that was one thing I was hoping to find is that someone had taken it apart and not put it back together properly and it was just out of balance. But it actually has marks on it. What size do you suppose these are? I'm guessing 17. Another issue they say online is the tranny mount sometimes sags and just then the drive line angles aren't perfectly lined up anymore and it vibrates. Uh, to tell. Yeah, apparently that's another thing that can happen. Mm. <laughs> To it. Oh yeah, like move it lots and yeah. you can feel it click. This one is not as bad, but it also is a little stiff and slightly notchy. It is um, notchy, it is. I don't really want to replace my drive <laughs> Uh, they're oh, probably yeah, steady bearing. It's hard to show the camera. There is a crack in the rubber there. It's hard to show. There. Oh yeah. Alright. There's the brand new drive shaft. Just from 
machine installing. Then this flat tire. And do it on. It's gonna be great. Nissan 300ZX Runs a lot of caster. <laughs> Adjustable control arms, that's the lowest wow. caster, which is fine. It's better than my Subaru was. So. That's actually pretty decent. I'm okay with that. So. Look at the toll. That's, that's pretty good, Josh. Yeah. I was hoping to run kind of near negative two on the rear, so. But I don't want to go too crazy in the winter anyway, so. Pretty much. Here, I'll show the camera. This is where I want it to be beautiful. It's as close to positive as I can get. And now for the front. like a piece of garbage. Well, that's all I'm getting. <laughs> I don't even know where my flashlight is. Oh, found it. That's all I'm getting on the front for now. Hello. So I'm on my test drive after all the work I did today and it works. It doesn't shake anymore. That's so nice. It feels like a new car. It's wonderful. Yes, if you're wondering, I'm driving through deep snow, so it's kind of uh, interesting. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And I fixed my heat. I flushed my heater core out today and it was a little plugged up, so now I have heat. And I did my tie rod and did a sort of alignment. I mostly adjusted the toe because it turns out most of the adjustments are not able to be done unless I get aftermarket parts, so that'll have to wait for a while, but I am super happy. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and always come back. <laughs>